Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my spoiler-free review of the Nowhere Girls by Amy Reed. So this was part of a book club that I was asked to join on Goodreads. So if you're interested in about the book club and all that stuff, I'll have it linked down below so you can go and check it out. But this book, I was really intrigued when I heard that this was going to be their first book that they were going to read. So essentially the premise of this is that it follows three girls who go to this high school and the year prior there was essentially this gang rape that um, happened to a girl that lived in the community and how the uh, community and school kind of brushed it aside and the girl ended up moving away as a result of that. So um, Grace, who's the new girl who just moved into that girl's old house, kind of makes it her mission. She's like, this is unacceptable. We need to kind of set the record straight and make boys and everyone know that women and girls should not be treated like this. So this kind of spirals and leads to like a feminist group called the No War Girls and how like they kind of set out to kind of make the boys realize that they can't be treated this way. So I found the message of this book to be really important, especially in today's kind of culture in particular, especially with how the American president is kind of things that he's said and like his treatment of women and how it's, I think it's important for this to be kind of, um, to spark a conversation especially this book is aimed for a YA audience so it's important to kind of spark this dialogue between boys and girls so I think it's important this book did a really good job at kind of discussing all aspects of this whether it's rape culture consent and like all this other stuff and feminism and all this like amazing topics that I think need to be discussed especially for a YA audience this book did tackle some of that dark subject matter and I applaud it for doing so I felt like it did a really good job and there are many parts in here I was like yes I totally agree with this author and all that stuff so and also it is very diverse the characters in here are very diverse in basically every way possible whether it's sexual sexual orientation kind of their ethnicity and all of this stuff and I think it did a really good job at making sure that the book was diverse and it kind of showcased different viewpoints there's chapters in here here that are told from the perspective of us so they are like I'll kind of find a little excerpt in here which I really enjoyed so like I said this the chapters of us is told from different perspectives so it'll be like two miles west a girl searches the internet for easy ways to lose 20 pounds a quarter of a mile east someone checks for the third time that the bathroom door is locked they lock they look at themselves in the mirror and try not to cringe carefully apply the lipsticks they stole from their mother's perf purse stuffed toilet paper in the bra they shoplifted from walmart cross their eyes so they blur when um so the blur will turn them into someone else i'm a girl they whisper my name is not adam so i really like this because i think it shows just kind of how girls are different and how like the different aspects and how like how society views them and how we treat ourselves and how we think we're supposed to act because of these gender norms and these double standards so i really like that and also there's chapters from this blog post that is basically a misogynistic um kind of blog post telling basically that girls it's okay to like rape women and it's giving them and like other people advice on how to do so so I like those ones were really hard to read but I think they were very important to see because there is this kind of a dialogue that we see now and just how girls are treated as objects and kind of that thing so like I said I really applaud this book and how it tackled this really dark subject matter and how it kind of sparks this conversation which I think is really important now especially with all of like the movements coming out like Me Too and all of that stuff this stuff is kind of becoming more talked about in the media and conversations and I think that's really important and I think this book is a really good conversation starter especially because it is directed towards a YA audience so I think that aspect is really important and I think it does like like I said because it has such a diverse cast of characters you kind of get to see different viewpoints and some of the stuff in here makes me cringe because although I haven't had any of these experiences that are kind of expressed in the book I still feel for them and then part of it it's like I do have that fear of being a woman and all that stuff so I really like that part and all of that stuff and I think especially the kind of misogynistic blog, 
blog posts that we get to see in here do make you cringe and they do get the point across and it's like how can people say this so I think that's really important as well but the downside of what I didn't really like about this book is that I didn't really like any of the characters so Grace is the one who kind of orchestrates this whole kind of nowhere as girls group and I don't know she really came off as like the Christian savior and she's like doing this because her mom's a pastor and she needs to have meaning in life so I was like that's a little cliche and Rosina I think that's how you pronounce her name she is just rude for the sake of being rude so I didn't find her very likable and though Erin she does have a form of autism I really like kind of seeing her and how the author kind of depicted her I think she's the only character that I really enjoyed reading from because it did she did it the author did a really good job of kind of showing like how they want to stick to their routine and all of that stuff and just working with kids with special needs I really kind of appreciated how she kind of shed light on that as well so and then like the other kind of side characters in here were just like okay we don't get to see a lot of character growth throughout the whole thing and to be honest like this nothing really happens in this book it's not really a plot based book it's like character based but when it's character based and there's not a lot of character development it's kind of hard to really get into and so like for the last like I just wanted to like finish it once I kind of got to the halfway point and nothing was happening and so that was a downside and then also so then some of the stuff that's in here is very unrealistic in a sense so it was just like I don't really see that happening like it was just very implausible so part of me was just like rolling my eyes like that would never happen um and I was just not a big fan of the writing style it was very simplistic but it wasn't like I don't know it just wasn't working for me and I just really didn't like the style in here so I gave this a two out of five stars the two is kind of mostly before because I like how it kind of discussed the topics that are in here but I just didn't really like the story I didn't like the characters I didn't like the writing style um, so yeah I think this book is really like in the sense of what it's trying to accomplish it does a really good job but as a like as itself as a whole as a book it just wasn't really for me. So that's it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you are interested in reading this book and like what you thought about it because I think it's all the Goodreads review were very positive and like they were all really applauded how the book kind of talked about this kind of subject and all of this stuff. So I really appreciated that like I said. So I'm interested to see what you guys thought about it and all that stuff. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!